to welcome everyone to uh, Tuesday, December 12, 27, 2017, Soft Board Meeting, and I'd like everybody to join me in salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And before everybody takes their seat, um, I would like to give a, we get, we, this past week, we've lost um, Phil Purse, who was a you know, long-time resident. He was very active in all kinds of town, go, town governments, and so I would like to express our sympathy to his wife, Linda, and all of his family, and that Phil may rest in peace. Copies in there for everyone. Do you have your everybody have a copy? No, it's, it's in your post. Okay. No. Well, these are better. Maybe I'll take them. Beth, do you have one? I have a copy. Yeah. I think you handed them out at the last meeting. Yeah, but mine has a line down. So oh, okay. All righty. I've been, I read, I've read this over a couple of times, and um, from what I see in the Treasury's office, uh, Keith Arsenault, who we hired as the interim to train our new one, he has been uh, going through, trying to get all the different tasks that have been going on, you know, what we've had the lapses, like it says, between treasurers and from the former treasurer who passed. You know, he's just trying to get together, you know, practice and, and procedures and things that have been let gone over the years, let go. And I mean, I think he's doing a good job. He's training Alani, and um, we do have to give them a three-month review before the three board of selectmen. We have to get them in here because it is three. It's November was three months, so probably after the holidays we can get them in. And you know, there's all different things that he's done. You know, like um. He's, he's changed the um, checking accounts around, the vendor and payrolls. And uh, another thing I did notice, and we can all talk on it, but what he's also done is our payroll service can do, um, you know, they can do like all your annuity checks that a lot of the teachers have been used. They can do them and they can send them out monthly. They can do the same thing where all the insurance is concerned, you know, anything that has to go out that we don't have to put on the warrant, they can do all of that service for us. And I think that is good to have them do that. And he's trying to cut down a lot of the different bank accounts, which is good. And he wants to stay with Bartholomew, who has like our um, stabilization accounts, and he wants to put more accounts into that um, stabilization there with, uh, with Bartholomew. And so, um, He's tried to help out with you know, a lot of the uh, investments and now uh, with the D DOR or the school, the meal taxes, because there was a lot of things that have been let gone over the, the last few years. So I think what we're doing, we mean, yeah, they're making progress over there. We're just trying to catch up on what's gone on over the last, you know, all the changeovers and treasures that we have had in, the, in this community. And I think we should probably have him on for a few, few more months with us. Do all. I agree. Well, one thing I would like to see, though, is just from a standpoint of getting, you know, a gauge against what the job requirements are. Um, I'd like to revisit um, asking him and our, our treasurer in training to go through that list of tasks that came out of the treasurer handbook um, and just kind of give each one of them give their evaluation of kind of where they feel they are. Um, from a standpoint of Lonnie's training, mm -hmm. from a standpoint of if Keith has felt that he's covered a topic but maybe she doesn't quite fully understand it yet, I think that should be part of the process in doing the 90-day evaluation for both of them. Um, and I'd like, I'd like the opportunity to sit with them, explain to them how 
that kind of self-evaluation sort of form works and, well, and I, do think that. I think in this 90 day forum we really yeah. have that opportunity. Yeah, I think right. we should do it yeah. there. Yeah. But yeah. I, well, I think what you usually what you do is you allow them the opportunity to kind of take a look at it and fill it oh, out in advance. Oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I don't want to yeah. like no, no, spring no, 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 it try no. as part of the process. No, so the, the agenda for the suggested agenda from my perspective would be to to have that have that have that in their hands and actually use that as the gauge for the review. Because I feel like there's perhaps some of the issues that are covered here. I, I don't know if perhaps um, it was communicated to either of you, but I feel like there's some obstacles that occurred for them that I don't know what the level of awareness was amongst us. Like, what, like what, do you, what do you mean by that? Uh, like he, he, his, his comment about not being enough space. I mean, it, if we had that much of a space constraint that it was interfering with like getting the office organized, maybe we should have looked at some like outside of the box options like the, you know, I hate to put it this way, the janitor's closet is up here. A lot of that stuff could go down basement and if they needed an extra workspace, we could have set, you know, something like that up no, so that they could spread stuff that's out. Not that. but she does make, she had talked to me last week about Maybe I, I know we were talking when we were going to do the um, the new bathroom, mm -hmm. and maybe move the assessor right. out here. Maybe if the office out here could be cut in half for her, so she could have an office out of the back, and that would give her more space, and she wouldn't have all this traffic coming in and out of here all the time. Yeah, yeah I, I think that the challenge is is that though we would want to keep the space that is currently the treasurer's office as the storage location for any personal data, oh. because one thing I Yep. Oh yeah, everything, getting... yes, well, we keep all that, a lot of that, it's all personal information and it right. does have to be locked up. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and there are some great like mobile storage solutions that are not, that you can get used on the open marketplace that would allow us to, to like double or triple the space that they have in there from the standpoint of room for mm -hmm. files. So, so one of the things would be the facility and, the, and, and what improvements mm -hmm. would they foresee yeah good idea Absolutely. yeah sure so so I, I think there's some I think there's some opportunity there because if it was getting in the way of us getting stuff done I, I wish I we had heard about it before we asked for this particular report mm -hmm. is, is basically all I'm saying we do we need to do something I think for more office space because that needs to be that was like just a little computer room oh and then sure. one of our um, Treasurer was asked to go in there because she had a desk out in the main office and she just couldn't concentrate on it. Right. And that's all. It's almost like a little closet. Yeah. And she does need more room. She needs more space. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. So. good. And and what we want we we'll want to do too. The uh, second thing on that agenda would be that we made good progress on the financial policy document. We got all the way through to the treasurer's uh, section. Okay. And that was kind of like the next thing that we were going to get into. Mm -hmm. And so what we ought to, there's going to be some work instructions yeah. that they're referring mm -hmm. to here. And then there are policy right. kinds of yeah. things that ought to be in the policy manual. So I, I'd, I'd look to them to make a recommendation that, as to uh, the timing of having the review and then moving back into yeah. the policy work mm -hmm. so that we can get that document. So, and again, it's, it, it, we, we've got the uh, town meeting, uh, the special town meeting to get prepared for. We've yeah. got to finish up the audit stuff. So I think we need to stay out of their way yeah, so the do. work gets done. We and, do. and then And then get this review going and then jump back into some of these things. Okay. And then last week, I think we had some confusion over meeting with the treasurer and the um, deputy wanted to meet, like, and sit down with them and, like, you know, do lines progress. And nobody has, it, it seems to me that Lonnie's being singled out because nobody has ever sat with anybody to see how that they're, they're performing their position. It's never been done before, it just seems as though she's being singled out. So I think given the history that we have had in this town with regards to communication with the treasurer's office, the fact that it's, it, it's not a secret. First of all, we're past the 90 day mark. We just said we needed to do a review. I'm not gonna sign a review on any individual that I haven't spent some time sitting down and asking well, them how they've well, progressed. Well, she feels as though she's being singled out. So absolutely, she's a new employee. But that's not it, that none, none of the new employees have ever, nobody ever sat with Carrie, 
Nobody ever sat in here with Karen. Nobody so uh, nobody has ever sat with any of the employees before and I think they feel very uncomfortable with that. On the former supervisors of those people. But at the same time we have and a need for a public hearing as to the review. And at that time, I think what we do is we go through, again, the point, the point was made that we have a list of requirements and that we review those at, in, in public forum. Mm -hmm. And then given the output of that, we decide what we need to do or not to do moving forward. So I, I, again, I, yeah, I think we got to get away from the culture of because we want to sit down and talk to somebody about how their job is doing that we're out to get because well, well, that's that's absolutely well, we have, we've got to put an end to that type of mentality. Well, this in this is how time. I think a lot of the employees feel. They feel that somebody's out to get them and replace them. This is how they feel. And, and, and I'm and not, we have a... Well, let's, let's have a motion here that that is not our intent. No, and it's, we have a very good financial team. They're all young, they're all learning the position. And once they really get on board with all of it, we're going to have an excellent team. Because it was the town accountant that took it in her hands to have this audit done. Because she saw things that hadn't been done in this in this town. So, so back back to where, where we are is that we have an audit ongoing yeah. and that we need to be finishing up with that yeah. and, and again I don't know the timing exactly but we need to be finishing up with that to then move into the special town meeting yeah. to secure those kinds of things because that's all good progress and I think the other thing is that we're talking the 90 day review, it'll be more like 120 days, but right. so, so be it. Get done. So be it. Small town stuff happens sometimes. We'll do that after the first of the year, because right now everybody's busy with the holidays. Yeah, and so that we move from getting that uh, done and established, there will be corrective actions mm -hmm. that will come from it. Yeah. And Both I, sides. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And, 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 that's, and that's one of the things I'm trying to point out here is that I feel like when I read this, I feel like me personally as a selectman somehow missed resourcing them to get their job done. Now, I can't be, I want to say, held liable for that if no one communicated to me until 60 days after the event, 90 days after the event, that they didn't have that resource. So clearly we need to open up the communication channels to say, if you need something mm -hmm. to do your job, or if you have an obstacle that's getting in the way of doing your job, IDs and passwords. We should have been hearing, you know, regular updates from either Keith or Lonnie or, or whoever was getting it, even Holly at the time. You know, hey, I'm having a hard time with, with North Brookfield. Can can somebody contact them and let them send them a formal letter about you the mean fact from, that we've got to replace You mean them. to the bank? Yeah. Well, the selectmen don't have anything to do with the banks. It's the financial team that do. If, but if the bank is not servicing them, I think that's what my point is, is it, it doesn't feel like when when they're getting somebody who's creating a roadblock for them, okay? Sometimes when outside agencies are being difficult with, with one of our appointed officials, okay? And if they're not giving them the help or the service that they need, they absolutely should come to us and say, hey, these people want a formal letter from the selectman that this person, you know, it has left our employment and now I'm the, the designated representative that of this account. All, that was all taken care of. There was no it, obstacles there. Well, that's that's not the way that I read this report. It says oh. that, that they had you know some significant slowdown in IDs and passwords and stuff like that. Maybe it wasn't long enough for it to, to matter and get us involved, but maybe it was. But, but we're finding out about it now and not maybe back in August when it's happening, I guess but is what my point is. What I think the point is, is in, in, again, I hear from Linda the, con, the concerns of, of, of retribu potentially retribution, which is, again, and, and we're on camera and everybody hears it. That is not the intent no. at all. Flip side, what I'm hearing from you, Beth, is that there were some roadblocks given. And we were given the opportunity right. to... So I think to come back together, and I think you're both, you're both in pa you're passionate about helping. Yes. In both cases. Yes. And, and, yeah. and so given that passion, I think what we need to do is have the town employees understand that we're here to, to help. help them. Right. And uh, that if there's something that they need, Karen is here, and she is able to communicate to the three of us and if we need to come in for a special meeting, 
48 hours later, we can be sitting here right. and we can help. Exactly. Well, to the best of our that's ability. That's what it was. It was uh, sometime in the fall. It was shortly after, I think. Was it after Lonnie was hired that we had a financial meeting? Because I had always been the yes. liaison with yep. the financial team. And they all feel very comfortable with me sitting in on their meetings. That's just the highway guys feel comfortable with me. So. And I mean, I write down everything that they tell me. And I'm sure, I think Carrie wants to get together and have a once a month with just one selectman because she said if you do two, then we have to post these meetings and she doesn't... And know. that's fine. You know, yeah. it, I think sometimes it's better to be able to yeah. to, to just have that yeah. point of comment. That's what we want to do. And then, then Beth, I have an email to us that she sent to Lonnie about me. And I'm very insulted by this. Okay. That wasn't my intent. You... You had said you were comfortable with me being the only one to speak to uh, to speak with you uh, with um, we stand in the training of establishing substantial fire progress. You said that I am very knowledgeable about certain portions of municipal process and processes, but you have a lot more experience in financial matters. I have. I took that as a, you don't think I am qualified to do any of this. I have been in this town hall for 30 years, and I have probably forgotten more things than you know. You've only been here in this community, you've only been involved with town government for about four years now. And I, I, I just, I think, just didn't like what you said. So I think you need to be moving on. That's how I feel, and I, I just don't like having people talk behind my back like that and say that I'm not qualified to do my job. If I didn't no. think I was qualified to do my job, I wouldn't have ran for selecting back in 2013. I sat home for three years and I saw what was going on in this town and this is why I felt I needed to get back here. And all the employees were very happy when I got back here because I'm there for them. And they know that they can talk to me about anything and if there's anything that needs to be changed, I will, they will tell me and I will bring it back to the board. That's how I feel. So, in essence, that goes back to my previous statement that without sitting face to face with somebody about how they're doing in their job, I don't feel comfortable signing, say, a 90 day review. Okay? Yes, but with the 90 day review, we're going to bring them in here and talk to them. We're going to have them do a self evaluation of themselves. And they just feel like one feels you're just um, you're going in and you're, you're like. Uh, just sectioning her, you know, picking her out to sit down and talk to her and, uh, and like shadow her and see how she's doing her job because nobody else has ever done this before and you just can't start doing it with one person. Excuse me, are you supposed to be talking about a child employee without them being here to uh, talk Well, about I'm here. She's talking about my behavior. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. I think technically this is a conversation about my behavior. So I could yeah. ask for executive session, but... All right, that's it's, all I guess. It's not her actual performance. There's been no comments, positive or negative, about, about Ms. Creatius' uh, no, okay. performance. And I'm so. just saying how I took an email and I just didn't like what was said about me. And I and thought I could bring that up. And where we're headed is we're going to have the review and we're going to have the self-evaluation. Mm -hmm. Given the self-evaluation, we will then mm -hmm. understand where there are areas for improvement and that we can work jointly. Mm -hmm. To work on those issues. Okay. So, Mr. Cleveland has been behind you, Linda, yeah, with, with an interesting hands. comment. Um, well, I haven't. I didn't realize that he was. He was hiding. Oh, he um, should sit over here so we can see. I had to hear you. I uh, on the advisory board. I call it the new advisory board. Um, I drew a tax collector and a treasurer a checkbook. So every week I've been going in and asking five minute speech and I really enjoy this lady coming in and explaining things to us about what the deal was with because a lot of people being on there a long time still didn't have a clue I mean it's a lot of money that we're working with and to be able to uh, well you guys I know I've known you since 1970 and I know him and we know her so for them not to worry about what's if there's a problem don't hesitate to come in here. There is no such thing as a stupid question. Uh, yeah. Maybe Beth should be your li liaison for the advisory board because a lot of people don't, like you just said, a lot of them don't know the full procedures of what's going on over there. Yeah. So, Excellent. 
And, and I think I think Brenda's doing a very good job. Thank you. I've known her since she was five. We they're won't all, hold that against her. They're, they're all doing an excellent job and yeah. they're doing it to the best of their ability and they want to continue going for training and whatever they can do. And Keith has been very good. I mean, he's been in the business probably over 40 years. Mm. And we're very fortunate to have him here to be training Lonnie. Yeah. No, we're, we're making progress. I mean, I think that that's the thing. And again, I made, made the comment earlier that each of us have our passions and, and we're working. And we're, 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 we're working. We, we kind of fumble and bumble at times, but we do the best we can with what we have. Again, it's the, the life of a small town. Right. And, and, and when all I can say is that the way you're reading that is not the way it was intended. The way it was intended was to say each of us has our strengths. Okay. Uh, it's not to say that it's not to say that we're inadequate in the areas that aren't our strengths. Okay. And I think. So, and I think so, I just took it. To, uh, and I think the treasurer took it that way, and the assistant treasurer also. So, but that was not the intent. If you'd like me to have the conversation about it, was to point out strengths, and it doesn't mean that people are inadequate in the areas that aren't their their uh, area of focus. Then that's you know that's something that's being applied to those words from where they're sitting and not necessarily the way that it was intended when written it. Okay. Just, just so you understand that. Is it's not to say, gee, so-and-so doesn't know anything about that. It said, it said stronger. Okay. There's, there's, a difference, there's a difference in saying somebody doesn't know anything about a particular topic and saying that you feel that, that it's an area that's more of a focus for you. It's a totally different, it, it's a totally different intent and a totally different conversation. So uh, if it was taken that way, I apologize. Okay, it wasn't the intent, but it was it, it was the way I felt, and it was related to the I don't feel comfortable signing something unless I've had that that face to face time based on my past and, and based on the supervising supervisory roles I've been in previously. Madam Chair, we Can have some on? new guests. Okay. We do. And I think they're moving in, so I, I'm thinking we're closing on this topic. Yep. Okay. And, and okay. you're going to schedule the uh, meeting for January. Yes, I will schedule a meeting for, for January. We will have a major to do again in the morning because Keith is available be anytime and we'll have something in January. Okay, we want to... Brenda, did you come with anything? No. Yeah. And Ron is here for our um, executive session. Sure. Yes. Okay. So I was okay. checking. Okay. Our next one here is to ratify... Um, we have the, we have the sale of the um, the 1997 one ton truck from the highway department and Cindy had called me because the guy was coming he was coming to he wanted to purchase it before we had our meeting so I had given her permission to let her do that and I said we would ratify that yep. vote here in town meeting absolutely so, so we moved from four to three so I would like to I would like to have a um, vote. For Accept the bid and the sale of the 1997 one-ton truck at the highway department. You have that motion. I'll second that. Any discussion? Oh. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Absolutely. Okay. Madam Chair, I'd like to actually uh, make a second motion, which is that for all excess equipment that is disposed of uh, in a in a formally recognized process such as municipal, mm -hmm. um, that we proactively concur that uh, if the reserve is met on a particular piece of equipment, mm -hmm. that the chair can, can by default sign to uh, complete the contract. I don't have any problem with that at all. Mm -hmm. That's an excellent idea. So, so, that's so it's second. Oh, I'm in favor of that. All well, we have to do is say aye. Uh, we'll say aye. No discussion. We'll say aye on that. Yeah. Aye. Uh, aye. Yeah, that'll help in the future. Yeah, okay. it'll just it'll just streamline the process because yeah. if we've used me this a bit, what's and then we'll yeah, just ratify. Yeah. All right, right here. This is from uh, we have it's a sign the mega proxy ballot, and that happens every year. You just check off um, on the next page. <coughs> now, what exactly is this? <coughs> it's, it's, I, um, I think it's to sit on the board. They have they have different candidates from Mega, the insurance company. You don't have to sign in, it, but they do ask it. Uh, Meg is, I'm trying to think, I think that's... It's the Massachusetts the Education and Government Association. Okay. It specializes in workmen's, workmen's comp, comp yes. And that's what it does. Great. 
And we all have to sign this? No, just I think just you do, Linda. Okay. I would like to have permission to sign yeah. this in the board. Yeah, that motion. motion. Second. Yep. All in favor? Aye. Aye. take care of any other business we have right. and then we can end it now um this is that was from cindy that's for the culvert work i think it's rice corner road she just needs you to sign what is that you just sign off on. Okay, yeah, sign. yeah it's a sign off of the culvert work i make the motion no all three of us we all have to sign, have to sign, so, sign that so we, okay. we have a motion to uh, sign approve the contract approve the contract so all, all uh, yeah. aye there we go aye Just the email that oh, okay. you asked me for. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Did you post the copy for anything else in here? Yep. Yeah, the executive session, which is one of the uh, folders, I think it's the last. It's just a couple of the nice kind of road. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. Is it the, the last? Yeah. Yeah. And it goes, what are you doing? It's not bottom. Oh, my goodness. One heavy truck coming over there, and it's, it's going to be a disaster. Um, I would now like a motion to adjourn from this meeting and to go into executive board session and then to come back in to our regular session and adjourn from this. Uh, I just had one thing, okay. Linda, maybe, maybe a quick other. Oh, okay. There was some co controversy over the uh, residential sand over the weekend. Yes, I, and so Chief maybe, Blanche called me yesterday about that. Excellent. So I'm just wondering if, if we shouldn't just point out to, especially with the tape, okay. that residential sand means <coughs> residential sand, that we've had a, a, a policy in the town to provide mm -hmm. sand to residents yes. for residents, mm -hmm. and that it is not for the purpose of commercial. And so the administrative assistant has a copy of the policy if there's any questions, okay. but that that, that uh, uh, sand is to be used for residential purposes, a bucket or two per resident kind of thing, and it's been helpful for a long, long time. How much, how much was taken for the other thing? I just heard about Substantial, the substantial amounts is what I understood. And again, uh, for residents, the mm -hmm. policy is here. Again, it's worked for many, many years, okay. and unfortunately, a commercial entity decided that they wanted to take advantage of a, a good thing, and that's unfortunate. Yeah, we had an incident in the team. Chief Lance said that it's uh, under investigation. He said he will find out. Yeah. And when he finds out, he said he get back to me so I can get paid back to the board. Thank you. Great. Okay. So we have to go over our adjournment again? Yes, now so, I'll give you that motion I didn't know to adjourn. That you had one. I'm, I'm no, no, I'm just, uh, because the camera's on, okay. Linda, and I thought okay. because of the controversy, let's just okay. get it in out in the, in, in the open. So you have a motion to move into executive session. Yes, I'll second that. Oh, okay. This is to uh, discuss strategy, it's exemption three, to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining, a litigation, and an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining, a litigation position of the public body, and the chair so declares. Uh, Lincoln, I? Senator. Coughlin, I. Okay. So.